So our video today, we're gonna to talk about RV gadgets. There are so many RV gadgets out there. We're still new at RVing, so we're gonna tell you what 10 of our favorite RV gadgets have been so far. You know, when we first started researching RV gadgets, we were told, don't go crazy and buy everything that's recommended to you. So what we decided to do with today's video is we took our 10 favorite and we broke it down into three categories. We have essential, helpful, and rarely if ever heard of. And what we mean by essential is that if anything happened to one of these items, we would make it a priority to go out and replace them right away. Right. Helpful items are ones that we use every day and we really love. However, if something was to happen to them, we wouldn't feel it a priority to run out and replace them right away. And then finally, we have our rarely heard of RV gadgets. So these are things we use a lot, but we really haven't heard other RVers mention them in their gadget recommendations. So we're gonna share those with you today. Right, so all of these gadgets that we're gonna to discuss today are easily found on Amazon or at your local RV dealer. And just so that you know, we are in no way affiliated with any of these companies that we're discussing today. No, so we hope you enjoy this video and make sure watch it all the way to the end because that's when we're going to tell you about those rarely heard of gadgets that we want to share with you today. We're going to start the list off with a smart surge protector. This is a commonly recommended item and for good reason. You don't want your electrical system destroyed due to a power surge. This particular product comes with a downloadable app that provides several additional features that you can research with a quick Google search. I would highly recommend also that you lock up your surge protector due to its value. The next essential item is what's referred to as a dog bone. We have a 30 amp system and the adapter on the left allows us to plug into a 50 amp breaker. The bone on the right is a 15 amp converter which is necessary for mooch docking and super helpful when you're provided power at a harvest host and they only have a 110 outlet. You never need to be without power with these, they're so cheap and easy to find. Okay guys, this is the RV water pressure regulator. This controls the flow pressure going into your RV. You generally don't want your water pressure to go over about 50 PSI. This product is also adjustable with a standard screwdriver. You know, I also like to add a two-way shutoff valve so I can have access to my water outside without disconnecting the hose. You can also get a smaller, cheaper water pressure regulator, but this one is not adjustable, so I don't recommend it. This is the tire pressure monitoring system. This little gem continuously monitors not only your tire pressure, but also the tire temperature. It has an adjustable alarm that you can easily program that alerts you if your tire pressure is too high, too low, or too hot. It's solar powered and it has a removable mount so you can store it away while you are parked. Make sure you read the description when you're buying it so that you know if it is rated for your max tire pressure. The sensors are easy to install. They just replace your valve stem covers. They go on in seconds. All right, now we come to the LED road safety flares. This particular item comes in a pack of four and all the items are lined with rubber so I can drop it or kick it around. Each flare has nine different modes depending on uh, whatever situation I'm in. For me, they're most useful for creating runway lights 
So when I'm trying to back up in the dark, it makes it a lot easier. They also have a hanger and are magnetic for situations maybe that I need them to hang or be magnetized. This is the Wii Boost. It magnifies the already existing cell signal, which is useful when your signal is weak. I recommend having it professionally mounted because the exterior antenna connects to an antenna inside your RV. This interior antenna makes it easy for your phone to connect and it looks kind of cool. Ah, the sewage hose holder. As you may have noticed, some parks don't have threaded sewer drops. This weight can be filled with water and holds down your sewer hose eliminating the need for your partner to hold it down while you have to pull the lever. It is also more pleasant to look at while you're parked. We never want to think about a fire, but it is a legit concern. Typically, you'd put important documents in a fireproof safe, but living in an RV means that space and weight is precious. This brings us to the Fire Retardant File Bag. It's lightweight, easy to store, and durable up to a thousand degrees. Alright, this is the Mini Auto Power Inverter. This little guy converts your 12 volt to 110 and is small enough to store in your glove box. This is an extremely useful tool when you need to plug in something while you're on the road or don't have a conveniently placed outlet. It's simple to use, you know, just plug it into your 12 volt outlet and plug in any 110 item to it that is no more than 70 to 75 watts. This is the coolest gadget of all. This is a USB-C to HDMI converter. So it attaches to your cell phone, plugs into an HDMI cord and allows you to plug it into your TV. This way you can access the apps on your cell phone without having to use your hotspot. You can watch all your favorite entertainment media without the worry of using your data and being throttled. And what it really means is that if you're paying for internet just to stream television, you don't need to. Use your unlimited cell phone data plan and watch it that way. Now please note, not every cell phone is compatible this way, so do a little bit of research. For example, my Pixel 3 will not do this without a converter, but Paul has a Note 10 and it works fantastic. It's actually a lot of fun and super easy to use. Well, we hope you found this video informative. There's a ton of gadgets out there and we probably couldn't possibly list them all in no. one video. So if you can think of something to share with us and other people watching this video, put it in the comments. We love to learn more about how we can make our RV life even better. Yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook, and on there we'll have other adventures that you won't find on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching today. Right. Bye, guys. Have fun with your gadgets.